Greetings and salutations, young true believers. Today we're talking about Honora O'Neill and her article, The Dark Side of Human Rights. Now, you might be a bit perplexed somewhat by the, uh, uh, the title, The Dark Side of Human Rights, but I want you to think about the current political situation in the United States, right? There are those who maintain that they have a right to not be vaccinated. The counter to that is, well, you certainly have obligations and responsibilities to your fellow citizens, one of which is to help us in this pandemic, right? Um, it's considerations like these, right? And that, that, that ever present tension between rights and obligations, right? That, that gives you an idea of what O'Neill's up to here. Uh, one of the questions that she asks is, all right, if there are rights, who is best in, uh, who's best positioned, right, to administer these rights, to make sure that they are, uh, that they accrue to everyone who, who would in benefit from them, right? And unfortunately, the answer is, well, it's states, right? Because uh, as she points out, there's a the story of a, a bank robber who was arrested and a reporter asked, why do you rob banks? And the, the bank robber looked at him perplexed and said, that's where the money is, right? And so if we ask, well, why do we always look to states to enforce rights? The answer is, that's where the power is. Um, of course, this comes with problems, right? Because... It's not just in the nations of, say, Syria and North Korea, etc., that violate human rights. Obviously, the states with the most power to enforce them violate human rights. It just ask Breonna Taylor, right? Um, so we're in this bizarre situation where the entities, that is, again, the state that's best positioned to enforce human rights is often, more, more often than not, a violator thereof and so we ask okay well if, if if it's not the state that's going to ensure human rights who else could be in such a situation to enforce them and then we get some um, a mixed bag okay universities universities have a lot of power universities influence societies right uh, corporations do the same uh, church uh, religious institutions right um, non-governmental organizations, Oxfam and Doctors Without Borders, etc., right? Um, so, we have to consider, right, maybe going forward, it's it's best not to rely on the state to do this. But there are other problems, right? As O'Neill points out to toward the end of the article, right? Uh, this is page 322. There is a tendency, right? Um, rights have become a weapon, and weapon is, is a bit of a strong term, but uh, nevertheless, to become a, a tool for the oppressed to, to utilize, right? And a big part of that, and it comes, goes hand in hand with being able to use rhetoric of human rights, is to assign blame, right? Hence the long quotation from Nietzsche that she cites on page 322, right? And she notes, I don't wish to suggest that the human rights culture inevitably promotes this rancorous approach to life, but I do not think we should accept at face value the view that it is all about respect for persons and treating others as agents. Much of it is indeed about protecting the weak and vulnerable, but it's also about extending the power of states over non-state actors and human individuals, about establishing systems of control and discipline that extend into the remotest corners of life, about running people's lives for them while leaving them with the consoling pleasures of blame. Right. So lastly, O'Neill wants to countenance the idea, well, maybe this talk of rights will it's just a, it's a it's a product of this age and it's appropriate in this age. And in the future, right, uh, we won't talk so much about rights because either because they'll become commonplace or some new moral paradigm will dominate our discussions, our thoughts about um uh, our relations with one another, the way that the talk of rights does today. Um, but again, there's, there's, this dark, there's this downside, there's this dark side to it, and we need to acknowledge that.